In these problems, we have some exponential equations with e as a base. And we're going to solve for x, where x is um, stuck up here in the exponent. The technique we're going to use is to simplify these uh, exponentials by taking the natural log of these e expressions. You know, if I had, let's say, e to the second power, if I took the natural log of e to the second power, what would that be? Well, you have to think of this as a log base e, and that's saying, what power do you raise e to to get e to the second power? So it's, the answer is 2. And what's happening here is basically the natural log and the e undo each other, and we're just left with the exponent. So we're going to use that technique here. What we're actually going to do is take the natural log of this expression. Um, of course, we have to take the natural log of both sides of the equal sign to, to uh, follow the rules of algebra, but let's see how that goes. So we're going to take the natural log of the expression e to the negative 8x, and we're going to take the natural log of 5. Okay, well the natural log of e to the negative 8x, I just said the natural log and the e cancel out, that's just going to leave us this negative 8x. Another way to think about it is if I take the log base e, if I take this base e to what power, will give me e to the negative 8x. Well, that's just negative 8x. So I get this equation negative 8x equals the natural log of 5. Now to um, solve for x, I simply need to divide by negative 8. And we get this expression here, the natural log of 5 divided by negative 8. That's something I can find on the calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to need to press this up arrow on the Windows calculator to get my my uh, natural log button. So I'm going to punch in a 5 and hit the natural log button. So that's that value, natural log of 5. And then we're going to divide this by a negative 8. And let's see, they want us to round this to the nearest hundredth, nearest hundredth, hundredth so that's going to be a negative 0 0.20. Let's try one more just for practice. We've got e to the x plus 2 equals 6. So we're going to take the natural log of both sides. OK, on this side, the natural log and the e cancel out. I'm just going to get left with x plus 2. And on the other side, we're going to have the natural log of 6. To solve for x now, all I have to do is subtract 2 from both sides. So I get x equals the natural log of 6 minus 2. So let's bring up our calculator again. So we're going to punch in 6, take the natural log, and then subtract 2. And we get a negative 0.21. So negative 0.21 for x. So that is how to solve exponential equations by taking the natural log of both sides.